Hi everybody, and a very, very big welcome back to my garden. It's right here once again, and I'm going to take a look around. It's a gorgeous sunny day. We don't get many of them this time of the year anyway. We had a frost last night. Don't know if we've got any damage. Probably not, we're a little bit sheltered. So anyway, without further ado, come on guys, come and join me. Well, that was quick, I'm back again. I forgot to say, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I'm putting out loads of videos. Hope you enjoy them. I think I'll make a start just here. I'll feed the fish in the carp pond. Better not get the food mixed up. I'll give them the fish food. You'll probably notice, those of you who watch my videos on a regular basis, uh, it slowed down quite a lot. That's because the water's getting a little bit chilly now. Not many flowers left. This is the last one on this tree. This very large agave is definitely enjoying some sunshine. Happy Rifus is still doing quite well. A lot of the plants are getting to look just a little bit tired. Tree fern still in its full glory. And the black bamboo behind it is getting so large. There's my Gunnera Manicata, which is, as I said, getting a little bit tired looking. The winter's coming on and it will soon be time to give it a little bit of a cover up, a little bit of protection. Just down there, if we look lower down, get a closer look. There's a new growth started ready for next year. That's sort of a, a pinky looking bushy thing in the middle there. Black eyed Susan, climbing up the uh, other plants there, looking so, so good at its best. And I think it goes really well with this fuchsia plant I've got that just keeps getting bigger and better every year. Spanish dagger. Bananas looking a bit scruffy, but we've had quite a lot of really strong winds. But it's still growing well. No frost damage yet. That's a large cordyline. And the salvia, salvias are still looking really good. Lots of flowers. But pretty soon I'll have to cut those right back to the ground. Fatsy Japonica, got its flowers out now. 
always this time of the year, just before we go out the winter. some of my smaller banana plants. I will of course be covering those up. Well, I really enjoyed that little walk. Hope you did too. Don't forget to join me next time when I have a look around my garden or doing some chores. Bye for now.